Hello. Um, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know, but hello, little babies. How are you guys doing? I hope that your day or night is going well whenever you are watching this. I have been getting quite a few requests on TikTok. Unfortunately, I can't find them, so I can't just put a bunch of comments around my face. Um, but people have been wondering how I've been doing my eyelashes and how I apply them. And so I thought that I would uh, do a little tutorial on how to do some lashes. Um, I'm gonna do them with eyeliner, like minimal eyeliner, without eyeliner, and uh, just kind of show you how I blend them in. So stay tuned. So I am gonna do this without any makeup on just to show you how natural I can make them look. Um, just because I feel like there is a stigma around some lashes that you can't really wear them and make them look natural. So I'm going to show you how I do my lashes. <laughs> I did grab a new box of lashes so we can start from the very beginning, straight from the box. These are the Ardell Professional Naked Lashes um, in the number 421. I really, really like these. <laughs> well, cutting them straight out of the box, you really just want to apply these on your lashes. I know the urge is really hard to not just immediately glue them to your lashes. Um, cut them first, size them to your lashes. I really didn't know that you needed to do this until I went to a matte counter. Um, I believe it was like the third or fourth time I had bought eyelashes and I was like, I, I really want to buy a set of your guys' eyelashes, but I don't know where to start. I'm brand new. And the guy actually sat me down and looked at my mom and was like, okay, you're gonna buy a set of eyelashes. And my mom was like, okay. Um, sat me down, measured them to my eyes and actually taught me how to apply the lashes properly. So I, uh, I'd like to, I feel like I was a little more prepared when it came to eyelashes in that sense. But yeah, we'll just go right into measuring. So this is typically your lash. Um, it is quite long for a lot of, not all eyes are the same. They definitely vary in size. So typically I know this just because of how many times I have personally applied eyelashes. I will take four segments off the end just because I know that's how many it typically takes. That being said, some eyelashes are longer than others, so sometimes they do require five or six segments off. So always, always measure. The way that I measure is I take the inner corner and just line it up with my own inner corner and just kind of lay it down. So as you can see, there's quite a bit hanging off. So the way that I measure is I measure to about the end of my eye, a, li a little bit closer into my eye than the actual end of my eye just because these eyelashes are layered and stacked so they actually fan out a little more so i'm going to snip off that little segment that i just measured out you always want to cut from the outer edge never from the inner edge the inner corner always gives you the smaller lashes to make your eyelashes look normal. So if you cut from the inner corner, then your eyelashes are not going to match as well and people are just going to notice. For the sake of keeping this natural, I do say a lot that I use black eyelash glue. Um, you don't always have to use black eyelash glue. If you're looking for something a little more natural, you can always use clear eyelash glue. Now this isn't the typical clear eyelash glue that I use, but um, when we were down in Anaheim, I forgot eyelash glue, so we went to the Walgreens and this is what I ended up with and I just haven't bought another one. So I applied a thin line to the lash and I will just wait until that dries. Typically it turns clear for the black glue, it turns from like a grayish translucent black type color um, to completely black. So that tells you, I guess that's a little harder to read than the clear. Um, but like I said, we'll just wait for this to dry and then I will start applying. So I do have a set of tweezers that I use when I am applying. Um, it just helps a little better than my, <laughs> than my nails that I have. Um, so I'm going, I typically grab from the middle 
inner corner, not the middle outer corner, just because whenever I lay these down, typically my inner corner likes to stick up. So I just know that for myself a little better. When you are applying eyelashes, always remember to look down, don't look up. Um, just, there's a lot of things that can happen. You can glue your eyelash to your eyebrow. It's happened. I've seen it, I've done it. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. Just get it as close to the lash line as you can. I know the first time that you do it, it will be really hard. So that is it basically applied. I didn't put on any mascara. You can if you would like. These eyelashes, like I stated before, are stacked and layered. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, but it just makes it so your natural lashes, if they lay a little flatter, it looks more natural and it looks like their actual eyelashes, not something that you glued on your face. If you're having a hard time with getting your lashes close to your lash line, I would highly recommend these kind of tweezers. It doesn't have to be this exact kind. They could be plastic. They could be made out of whatever material. <laughs> Just something small and curved. Um, what I like to do after the lash is applied and has dried a little bit, I will go as close to my lash line as possible and just start pinching the eyelash actually to my eyelashes so that it's not quite glued to my skin it's more glued to my eyelashes so it sticks there better and then you don't really see that harsh eyelash line or the non-blended little tiny piece of skin that's just not quite close enough that's how I've circumvented that. Now, another thing, and this is one thing that I always do with my eyeliners. Um, I really don't like going outside the house without eyeliner on, but I always take a black eye pencil. If you don't like to wear eyeliner on your lower lash line, you don't have to worry about that. You can just put this on your top lash line and it just, to me, it helps blend the eyelashes a little better and create a seamless finish, just in my opinion. So I'm just going to apply this eye pencil. So I didn't do the cat eye eyeliner that I usually do. This is what I did when I first started applying eyelashes because like I mentioned before, a lot of times you can't glue that eyelash all the way down and you can see bare skin in between your eyelashes, your natural eyelashes and your glued on pair. And I just, I could see it and I don't know if anybody else could. So I always used eyeliner before applying my eyelashes just so that I had that little safety net just in case if it didn't glue down properly that I knew I had something there that masked it. So now that I have black eyeliner on, I will be using my black eyelash glue. So I will show you what I meant by the color change. I don't know if you can really notice, but the glue is a little bit gray tinged um, when it comes straight out of the bottle. And once you apply it, I mean, it still looks black, but it does have a little bit of a gray tinge. And so once it dries, it's actually black, like the color of your eyeliner. Um, and that's just how I know when it's dry. Don't try to apply eyelashes with black lash glue while they're wet, cause you will end up with black eyelash glue all over your eye and it is a mess. You have to take off all of your makeup, all of it. It's not a fun time. So now with the black lash glue, I will just apply these like I did with the clear eyelash glue. Now that I have the eyelash applied, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I think that it creates a more seamless finish than just putting eyelashes on without any makeup on. But that's just my opinion. So now I have applied a cat wing eyeliner uh, to my eye. I've already applied the lash glue to the eyelashes. I will apply it. My technique is a little bit different when applying my eyelashes with a cat wing compared to non-cat wing. Um, just in the fact that instead of laying the outer edge with my eyelashes, like my eye line, my eye tends to droop down. 
So I try to actually keep the lash almost in line with the eyeliner. So then it just creates an uplifted look. Like I said, I just bring it up a little bit so then it creates an uplifted look. Now I didn't use mascara in any of these because I really don't feel like you need to if you don't want to. Um, Cause like I said, these eyelashes are a little foolproof in the fact that they are layered and just kind of blend a little better. You can find them at any drugstore. I found them at my local Walmart, Kroger, Fred Meyer, <laughs> Albertsons even. Um, they all have it. They're actually not that expensive. I think that they're like $3 for a pair or they might be $5 now because inflation. But when I do use mascara, what I typically do, because I notice this on myself and on some other makeup artists, when you apply mascara before applying your lashes, when you apply your lashes, they actually make your natural lashes with the mascara on bend down and clump towards the corner, the outer corner almost. So what I like to do is I have this little it's like an acne tool. It has a, what, comedone extractor on the end. Um, but it has like a needle tip on it. And what I do is I use it in between my lashes and actually comb them out. So like you see with this eyelash that I had, it was kind of tucked in on itself. If I just push this through it, then it makes the eyelashes blend out a little better. And then you don't notice that black triangle of eyelashes popped on the outer corner of your eye and i feel like that's what scares a lot of people from doing their eyelashes is the fact that their eyelashes after applying mascara lay down and it just looks funny and if you're not used to it or you don't know what you're looking at it's completely off-putting and i totally understand that being said i hope that these tips helped you um I'd love to see your guys' progress. Tag me on Instagram and on TikTok. Even mention me on here on YouTube. Instagram and TikTok, my handles are little underscore baby 511. If you wanted to add me on Snapchat, it is also the same. Um, I'm kind of proud of myself. I managed to have all the same handles. So you guys can find me everywhere. But yeah, that's it. I am going to let you guys know I am trying to post more often here on YouTube. I will be posting two to three times a week depending on how much content I can make on the weekends and how quickly I can actually go through them and edit them. Um, I'm getting a new camera also. I'm getting all of these great things. So expect more content soon. I hope to see you guys later. I love every single one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.